kind of a, uh, it's hard being here. This is an episode we've been wanting to do for a while. And we're finally here as a huge Kobe fan, Laker fan. Uh, this is a trail that leads up to Kobe Bryant's crash site. Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. The chopper reportedly went down just before 10 a.m. local time, according to fire, uh, the fire department out there in Calabasas, California. That's northwest of Los Angeles. You can see the picture there. It burst into flames on impact, starting a nearby brush fire. The 41-year-old Kobe Bryant was reportedly traveling with four others in that aircraft, in that helicopter. The L.A. County Fire Department saying, all five people perished. It's like the closer we get to the crash site, the more nervous I feel. Because I didn't, I mean, a lot of us didn't know Kobe Bryant personally, but we allowed him into our home, you know, while watching him play for the Lakers, bringing us five championships. So we felt some sort of connection to Kobe Bryant, even though we didn't know him personally. So just walking to the place where he passed away, is kind of like someone you knew. So it's, it gets harder, you know, emotionally as you walk to his crash site. The hunt for clues coming as memorials around the Staples Center are growing by the day. And players paying tribute on social media. Lakers star LeBron James posting, I'm not ready, but here I go. Sitting here, trying to write something for this post, but every time I try, I begin crying again. I promise you, I'll continue your legacy. Tonight, former teammate Shaquille O'Neal saying this. We found out it was confirmed. And I haven't felt the pain that sharp in a while. I lost a little brother. Yeah, there's the, the church right there. That's where the news was at, recording everything. Yeah. Up this way. Right there is where the helicopter crashed. It's right there, right? Yeah. Wow. We still got to go up around that way. Yeah. Mm. And celebrating a wonderful life that made a beautiful difference. I think that says its best. really like genuine a nice nice guy you know you know and he cared about our community you know he wasn't just somebody that just got famous and just got you know rich and just like decided to you know treat everybody and be like he's somebody else like a superstar type of thing Kevin got lucky and I got a chance to see Kobe play in 2010 wanted to bring my ticket with me but yeah yeah do you have anything you want to say? I, I'm just lost for words. Yeah. I'm like, I, I really don't know what, what to say. Like, just, just being here, I, my emotions are just kind of all over the place. <clears throat> yeah. Tonight, a tribute for some of the other victims. The Orange Coast baseball team remembering Coach Altobelli, his wife Carrie, and 13-year-old daughter Alyssa. Christina Mazur, a mother of three, 
Sarah Chester and her daughter Peyton also on the doomed flight. Kobe and his daughter. And Kobe's 13-year-old daughter Gianna, who shared her father's passion for the game. We came here to check out one of Kobe Bryant's murals. This one is amazing. I saw it online when it was being done and seeing it here in person, it's wow. Let me show you guys. Guys, now we're going to another mural. We have a few that um, people sent us, so we're gonna check them out. This is the first one we did. Now we're gonna see which other ones we can do to show you guys. What Kobe Bryant was to me was the inspiration that someone truly cared about the way I either I played the game or the way that he wanted to play the game. He wanted to be the best basketball player that he could be. And as I got to know him, I wanted to be the best big brother that I could be. We're at the third mural. Third mural, yeah. This one wraps around like to the other side of the wall also. It's pretty large out there, pretty long all around the building. This one has like pictures of him uh, as a kid. This one has pictures of Gigi, which we haven't seen. Yeah. This is really pretty interesting. A different take to uh, Kobe. Yeah. Um, it seems like it's more personal. Like, yeah, it's very dreamy. Yeah. Oh wow, it goes all the way down. This is honestly one of the most beautiful murals I've seen because not only is it Kobe, but it kind of shows like his life, his daughters, um, his teammates, his friends, his family. This mural is so beautiful. Like you can tell that the artist put so much heart and love into this mural. It's just so detailed, it's just so beautiful. You guys can see how awesome the artwork is. Very, very detailed.
It still keeps going? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, he's right here with LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Oh, this is sick. This is really cool, guys. And the Oscar goes to, don't say La La Land, don't say La La Land. Dear Basketball, Glenn Key and Kobe! This is the first Oscar and nomination. Possible is possible. Well, I don't know if it's possible. I mean, as basketball players, we're really supposed to shut up and dribble, but I'm glad, I'm glad we do a little bit more than that. Um, thank you, Academy, for this amazing honor. Thank you, John Williams, for such a wonderful piece of music. Thank you, uh, Verizon, for believing in the film. Thank you, Molly Carter. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And to my wife, Vanessa, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca, Ti amo con tutto il mio cuore. You are my inspiration. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All these memories, everything he accomplished, is the whole building mural. Wow. So we could actually start from here and go all, go all around. the way around. We, we're doing block by block by block. Okay guys, we are at a, another location. We're all standing here like with our mouths open like, this wow. This one is so detailed guys, like. Even the sweat. You can see the sweat on him. Gonna do it. this outpouring before but for very very different reasons remember when yeah. he retired when his jersey was for all oh, that was one of the most illuminating nights not just in sports history but history period because for people to come up and show the love and to thank him for all those years that he gave to the city of Los Angeles the five championships just the 100 and 50% effort that he gave every time he was on the court. To see them now, it's, I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that is not just this evening. Right, we're at our last Kobe and Gigi mural. This one's really awesome also. be in my heart and uh, what can I say 
Mamba out.